Okay, here we are. We're checking camshaft timing or uh, engine timing, verifying it's okay. And I'm happy to say that I was able to just remove the valve cover, um, leaving the chain cover. Also, without removing the whole front of the engine, which usually have to put it in service position, I didn't do that. I just removed the, uh, the snub mount, right? Removed the uh, spark plugs to turn the engine easier. And I was able to get a tool down there. That's my ratchet. And I was able to turn the engine, right? To align the, to align the timing marks. And as far as I can tell, As I can tell, this is okay. All right, that's on time. And then if we look down there, see if we can get it on camera. Um, no. Yeah, maybe. Let's try that. You can actually see the timing marks lined up. Okay. Right there. Okay, so it's lined up there as far as I'm concerned. And then the interesting part is the intake versus exhaust camshafts. So this guy here is the intake. That guy over there is the exhaust. And this is the cam locking tool, right? So first thing is, okay, the tool fits. So that tells us that well, presumably it's timed correctly, but as some people has pointed out, there is some slack in this guy. So I'm gonna pull the tool. Looks like this if you haven't seen it before, right? So that locks the cams. And instead we're gonna have a look at the, right? So the tool put, installs here and here. And what we want to do is have a look at the angle. See if I can get this to focus first. The angle of this, this lobe right here on the exhaust versus or the relationship to the angle of the corresponding lobe on the intake camshaft. And they should be kind of pointing upwards at a 45 degree angle. And what we want to see here is that they have the same angle, right? So first thing is the cam locking tool installs. It means it's about on time. And then we see it's a deviation in angle. And as far as I can tell, just eyeballing this thing, it looks good.